Is love and order given? A means to control, dominate, and govern the human in every possible way? A dictate that could definitely be phrased, I demand that you love me, or else be prepared to deal with eternal pain. That is love. It sounds more like a childish bargain bestowed by one who is devoid of any dignity while weaving a tale which states that any who are not amenable to the terms laid out will suffer no end. What a deal. Is love compliance? An act of submission to authority for fear of repudiation? This would indicate that fear is the corollary of love and that the one qualitative aspect would have to lead to the other. Love is the fear of losing that which is loved, while fear gains love by instilling it with fear. If we are dealing with a God that needs to be feared, then certainly God is fear and not love. This God uses love as a means to acquire more fear, where fear could also be used to receive more love. Is love use? A commodity that serves the user until the esteem or utility of the object of affection runs out and is then discarded and replaced? Love apparently can be attached onto something or someone at one point and detached at another. Love, it seems, is thus transferable, and if transferable, then also interchangeable. Love one minute, hate the next, and vice versa. How to quickly dispose of the contradiction? Say that God is love and do not think about it any further. Love is thus quarantined as an absolutist trait that is now defined by the spurious concupiscence of the moment. A lust for immortality is not different from a lust for pleasure. With pleasure, there is dissipation and eventually a longing for renewal which is why there are so many that hate the flesh and ache for the promise of rehabilitation through eternal salvation. Mankind knows that his and her bodies will not last on this earth forever, and thus make a deal to sell their souls for an idealized promise of everlasting incorporeality. Or is it corporeality? Love is used as the bargaining chip, and the majority of society is all in. Be sure, though, to not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Followers of the faith are admonished to love their master with everything and not hold back one drop. A greedy god indeed. This would indicate that a believer has nothing left to give to family, friends, or strangers. But as the saying goes, to sacrifice for the greater good. Love flows in one direction and fear pours out in the other in a celebratory confirmation that opposites do attract. The ultimate message being that God cannot love himself and must have humanity do it for him, undoubtedly a savior that is asking to be pitied.